I'm out of here. Here are the segment notes for tomorrow's show. Can you give them to Kim for me? Sure. Thanks. And this is for Brad. Leo Morrissey's phone number. Brad asked you for this? Yeah, Leo was here earlier, but Brad just missed him. This is just in case he didn't catch him. Do you know if he did? No, I haven't heard from Brad. Come on. Come on, man. Breathe. Breathe. Ah. 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 Okay, the uh, northeast side of the Oakdale Reservoir. Somebody fell in the water. Hurry, please. What I am trying to do, Paul, is get you to realize that I've changed. What? Thank goodness you answered. I can't talk right now. No, 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 don't hang up, please. I'm not alone. Who's there? I'm with Derek Coburn. Why? He wanted to talk to me about your loan. You okay? Did he hurt you? No, no, I'm fine. For now. But Paul, he wants his money. Yeah, I know. There has to be some way, someone you haven't thought of yet. Your businessman, Ryan, use your head. off I don't think you fully understand how this works I don't think you understand how this works you let her go and maybe you get your money tonight for your mother's sake I hope so something something the matter Paul you you, you don't look so well pack up and get out when I get back here I want you going You want to go? No, no, I'm, I'm cool. Yeah, I'm, you know what? The other day when I was fixing that grill, I, I, I should probably take a look at it. Uh -huh. Hey, what? What is going on? Are you avoiding going home, Jack? I, I, I am not avoiding the farm. Maybe just someone who happens to live there. What you said before to Parker about about how much it hurts when someone you trust doesn't take you at your word. Were you talking about Janet? I really don't want to talk about that. Supercell. Hi. <coughs> oh, oh, yes! There you go, kid. There you go. It's good. It's good. No idea. Pulse is weak. Laceration in the back of the head. We're gonna have to board him. Watch his neck. Yeah. Mm, food for us? Yes, it's it's for you and, and Parker. The Bernie and I feel really bad about what happened. It's lovely. Thank you. Just bring you into the kitchen. You know, Janet, this, this really isn't a good time. Okay. Um, just so that Liberty knows, how's Parker? He's shaken up. He was put through hell today. I know, and you blame me for that, and that's, that's okay. I jumped to a horrible conclusion. Yeah, you accused him of rape. And I know that he is not capable of that. Now? Now, you know that now, you mean, right? Because when I told you, you didn't believe me. Jack. My daughter was in the hospital. She was attacked and drugged. I was terrified for her. Can't you understand that? Please, I mean, just my first instinct is to protect my daughter. I'm not capable of reason in that moment. 
Are you coming home later? Can we talk about this then? No, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay here with my family tonight. Okay. I understand. Wow. Wow what? Well, I'm, I'm used to you being judgmental when it comes to me. I've just never seen you be that way with someone else. Oh, ears. What exactly is on the table? What, what? You are offering me this company? Your company. The company that you built from the ground up. The one that Craig stole from you. Oh, really? Yep, I'm prepared to sell it back to you. Tonight, right now, even. <laughs> Paul, you never disappoint. <laughs> you never disappoint. That is an extraordinary proposition. Is that a yes? I have but one question. How stupid do you think I am? Hello, Barbara. 